With the uncertainty of what the next official Pokemon game will be, people have begun speculating that black and white remakes are a huge possibility of what Pokemon could release next. Also, once I hit 9,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a $10 Nintendo eShop gift card for your Switch, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below after you've done that so I can enter you into the giveaway. So every few years, Pokemon creates a new remake for one of the previous generation Pokemon games. Some of the remakes have been amazing, like Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Mega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, and some people actually say that those are some of the best Pokemon games ever made. Heart Gold and Soul Silver definitely get a lot of praise. People love those games. I actually recently picked up Alpha Sapphire finally, so I'm excited to play that game. But some other remakes haven't been so amazing, such as Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee or Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I honestly don't think that Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl deserve all the hate that they get because I think they were still really enjoyable. I see why people didn't like them as much, but I think people definitely are too hard on those games. They're not as good as the original games, but Let's Go, Eevee, and Pikachu, on the other hand, I did not like at all. I literally did not like those games. This would be a good year for black and white remakes though, but it's crazy how time has flown by because Pokemon Black and White, they don't feel like that old of games. But now they're like 12 years old or something like that. It's just wild to me that these are the Pokemon games that are up next for a remake. I just, I don't know, I just find that crazy. But Pokemon hasn't announced anything official for this year for the Pokemon games. I mean, besides like the DLC for Scarlet and Violet. But I think everyone kind of saw that coming. So they just haven't announced like a new game to be released. Which, you know, they might not have a game this year. It might only be a DLC this year. It's really unknown when the next official Pokemon game will be released. Is most likely going to be this year or next year, but I feel like we would have known already, so I'm going to assume that 2024 might be a possibility for these remakes to happen. As long as they don't change their past trends of doing remakes, then the black and white remakes are 100% going to be the next remake. They've made a remake of all the previous four generations, so it's really just a matter of time as to when they will be released. It also just makes sense for them to be next because the previous Pokemon games were brand new titles, Scarlet and Violet, they were generation nine, and usually they release new generation like every, what, you know, four-ish years, three, four years maybe. Personally, I just think that they're gonna release the DLC this year for Scarlet and Violet and then announce black and white remakes at the end of the year and then release the games, you know, whenever they do their normal releases like in October of 2024. Possibly, that's probably what they're gonna do. I don't know for sure, that's all just speculation. But they have to announce something. Like, they're not gonna let us go empty handed for too long. They're gonna give us something soon. Game Freak also has been trying new things recently, though. Like, uh, Legends Arceus was a new type of game for them, it was an open world style Pokemon game revolving around like the Gen 4 Pokemon and stuff. So, that could kind of affect the future of Pokemon remakes. But I don't really think so, but a lot of people speculate that online, like they're going to release like a uh, black and white version of a Legends Arceus style type of game, like an open world, but a game that has the same exact storyline as black and white, like that type of thing. I don't really think that's going to happen, but it would be cool if they released like a Legends Zekrom or whatever, some type of new Legends game. I would be down for that, and I definitely want to make a video about that in the future because that sounds really interesting to me. But Black and White and Black and White 2 have been incredibly successful and popular for Pokemon and Nintendo. People love these games, they consider them some of the best Pokemon games out there, especially Black and White 2, which I have not played. I don't own them. I really want to, but they're just really expensive. I could emulate them, but I don't know. I just kind of like to have a physical copy of a Pokemon game. So that being said, though, the popularity of Black and White and Black and White 2 would be a huge seller for the Black and White remakes. So many people would buy these games if it's a remake. I'm sure so many people would pre-order them and purchase them on launch day. And if they make the game correctly, it could last even longer. People over the years will buy these games. We've seen Game Freak slash Nintendo make amazing remakes for the Pokemon games, so it's really not out of the realm of possibility for it to happen again. I know Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl made a lot of people kind of lose faith in good modern day Pokemon remakes, but maybe, you know, the Pokemon company learned from that mistake. Maybe they're gonna do better with the next remakes. I mean, I mean, I don't think the Brilliant Diamond and Pearl remakes were like terrible at all. Like, I still really enjoyed playing them, but I, like I said, I understand why uh, people were upset. One of the biggest reasons why people didn't like the remakes of Diamond and Pearl was because of the chibi art style and they got rid of like, you know, the uh, pixelated type of graphic style and replaced it with the more modern 
chibi style. So maybe Pokemon understands that and when they do a black and white remake, they'll make a more modern version of the pixelated graphics. I think that would be really cool if they could just have some more reminiscent factors that plays into the original Pokemon games. I mean, I will say that the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl games didn't really feel like the Gen 4 games to me. I felt like I was kind of playing a new Pokemon game, which is good and bad because it's a remake from an older game, but it's a remake from another game. You know what I'm saying? Like it should be reminiscent, but think of a more modern game like Stardew Valley. That's a relatively newish modern day game, but it has that old pixelated art style and people love that game. That's what makes that game so unique from other farming games. It has that pixel style and people love it. It's something that people admire and adore. I also just thought about how this would be the best time for a new remake as the Switch's lifespan is kind of almost over, I mean, we don't really know, they haven't really announced anything, but it's been out for like six, seven years now, so this would be a massive game to say goodbye to the Switch era of Pokemon games, and Generation 10 is the next generation of Pokemon, so that'd be a great way to introduce a brand new Nintendo console, but that might not happen just because they don't release a new gen until like, you know, every three-ish years. But who knows, it might add up to be perfect timing for the next console to have Generation 10 Pokemon the first year of its release. When it comes down to it though, there has to be some differences with remakes. They're going to change a little bit, but hopefully they just have a lot of reminiscent factors that play into the remake. Hopefully they make some smart decisions, but, but this is all theoretical stuff. I'm just kind of saying what I'm thinking. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.